Joining me now, another American showing his support, Ukrainian Congress Committee of America Vice President Pablo Bonriski. First of all, Pablo, last time we, Pablo, last time you were on this program, you spoke about your family in Ukraine, and I'd like to ask how they're doing now. Well, they're still holding up okay. They are obviously under a lot of stress. Uh, uh, the husband of my two nieces, uh, both of them have gone into the active territorial defense. Uh, and uh, the ladies are staying home with their family and hunkered down there in the western part of Ukraine. But nevertheless, they are feeling uh, the, uh, the stress from the attacks uh, coming in from the Russian army. I can only imagine. So listen, Americans from all walks of life are sending aid as best they know how. You know, some police are sending tactical gear, we understand. Uh, we had someone on the show that's sending ammo. So let, let me ask you, in your view, what's the best way Americans can help? Well, right now, uh, the critical needs are uh, along medical and pharmaceutical assistance. That's being coordinated by the Ukrainian American Medical Association, UMANA, and also uh, body armor and tactical helmets. They need uh, protection gear. Uh, the top stuff has gone to the uh, regular army, and now we have the uh, civil defense. The uh, people who are just regular shopkeepers or workers yeah. are all now uh, going out and patrolling their street, their neighborhood, their uh, areas, and uh, doing everything they can to uh, prepare for the uh, upcoming assaults. Okay, so, Pablo, I'm gonna give you a very quickly 10 seconds now. You've got an event coming up to show support. Tell me a little bit about it very quickly if you could. We do. We've got uh, an event at uh, 1.30 on Sunday. It's at the corner of uh, Chicago Avenue and Oakley Boulevard. We've got federal officials coming out. Congressman Quigley has already confirmed. We invited both okay. of our senators and others, and we expect everyone to come out and show the support for closing the skies, creating a humanitarian corridor so women and children can escape from Ukraine and the terror that's going on. All right. Well, Godspeed to you. Thank you very much, Pablo. Ukrainian Congress Committee of American Vice President Pablo Bondrisky. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.